Angry guy here, and women are extremely upset. Password bros are finding women overseas for dating and marriage. Women are extremely upset. Password bros are finding women overseas for dating and marriage. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the, the video. Normally and typically in an Arab household, the man usually is the provider financially. I was not anticipating that. It would mean I have to be the sole provider for a household. I didn't sign up for this. If you're going to go to another country to find a spouse, you might want to learn a little something about that culture before you book that plane ticket. Good morning, TikTok. Today on and found out news we chronicle the misadventures of a passport bro in morocco a lot of these passport bros in addition to being incredibly misogynist are also incredibly racist and xenophobic they view other countries and women in those other countries as being beneath them this man thought that he could go to africa go to morocco meet an arab woman and she would be just so grateful to have him a white american husband and in her gratitude he could sell her on some bs of romantic love and any standards she had would go flying right out of the window and she would do anything to be with him to keep him to make the relationship work a lot of these passport bros are finding out the hard way that these women in other countries in a lot of circumstances are much more demanding than the average American woman, right? They have these very infantilized views of women from other countries as just being like happy little puppies. I give her a pat on the head and she'll be so grateful. I toss her a treat every now and then and she'll be so grateful. They didn't see these women as fully actualized human beings, fully developed adults who would have standards and expectations of them and of course like they do with us he immediately takes a trying to shame her for her requirements and she's standing on them she's saying listen i'm not trying to change you i'm telling you this is what it is give me what i want or get out of the way it's so refreshing to see a woman who's not so desperate just to say that she has a man that she's willing to put up with whatever crumbs he tosses to her i'm not even worried about that woman the mindset that she has whether she's with this man or not she's gonna be all right and perhaps being told internationally that he needs to level up will be exactly the motivation that this man needs to do exactly that. See, but the gag is, this guy and all these other passport bros and Western men don't realize just how much Western feminism has benefited them. How much women pushing to be working and earning money outside of the home has benefited them. Because see, right, the guy is basically trying to get somebody to bankroll his man of the house cosplay because that's what it is cosplay you cannot expect somebody to go in 50 50 on the capital of a house and building a life together and childcare and all of these other things about building a family and building a life together and then now be demanding oh but i'm the patriarch you must submit you must submit it don't work that way boo you need man of the house money see Western men are not, uh, I think they can just come and be gods anyhow because they've got their mindset on this like, you know, colonial fantasy that, you know, oh, well, you know, I'll be lauded as a god over there in the global south. Pick any global south country, right? We're in, we're in an Arab and North African country over here in the context of this video, Morocco. But the thing is, in the global south, the patriarchy actually patriarchies differently, man. So we understand in the global south, we're like, listen, man. <laughs> We can go 50-50 or you can be the man of the house, but you cannot have both because I am not going to bankroll this elaborate cosplay where you get to pretend like you're the man of the house when I am putting down 50% of the capital and then on top of that one, doing 90% of the child rearing labor. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, boo. This is why I say chocolate teapots because these Western men only want to look the part but when it's time to actually put the hot water inside the teapot see them melt see them melt the idea of actually having to do what a patriarch do is is boggling their minds i didn't sign up for this see you're used to the competition here in the u.s where the expectation is different and varied depending on who it is you're talking to, where a lot of women don't have family who are taking care of them up until the point where they get married, where a lot of women have to go 
and get a career to survive. Meanwhile, in a place that has a more traditional culture, you have people whose families take care of them up until the point where they get married and they're expecting the man to be able to do at least the minimum of what they can do, if not better. Because otherwise, what's her incentive to leave her current situation? And when she's normally dating men of her own culture, this is not something that needs to be explained. This is something that is a known expectation. And if you're not aware of that, you're at an extreme disadvantage because you're not only coming into the situation being like ignorant, you're also being extremely unrealistic. And it just is a waste of your time. It's a waste of everybody's time collectively. I promise you, if she were to bring you home to her family and be like, this is the guy I'm going to be with, they would look at her freaking crazy and they would not let that union happen, like at all. I don't think it's materialistic to ask someone to respect your culture and i don't think it's materialistic to expect that if you're going to be the full-time homemaker that he's going to be the full-time financier of the family you really can't have it both ways you cannot have the woman who's going to do all of this stuff and then also take care of you because at that point you're not a partner you're a liability a contentious take if i can it's so interesting these modern day women, they basically want traditional men, but they don't want to be traditional women anymore. And they, you know, relationships are entirely transactional. They're, if you notice what they're saying is they're basically putting out these videos and they're trying to look for any way possible to, to push men away from going overseas, away from going to foreign women, dating foreign women and marrying foreign women. They're, they're literally trying to say, guys, you have you've never had it any better than you have it now. You have no business going overseas and getting into relationships with women overseas. You have women in your own country. The problem is that you don't want to level yourselves up. You don't want to have, you don't want to live up to certain standards. And when they say level themselves up, they're talking about making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year or millions of dollars a year so that you can now meet their standards. You can now meet their minimum. And it's, it's pretty unbelievable because you have a lot of women, they'll find a guy who's making 300, 400,000, even $500,000 a year, sometimes a million dollars a year. And they'll go through multiple guys like this who are, who have great jobs and you know, they're good looking. And guess what? The guy says something that they don't like, boom, gone. Oh, he's too, uh, he's too easy. Like, you know, or he's too, he's too easy. He's too simple. He's too boring. And I'm, I'm being very honest. Uh, when they, when they typically will adjust their standards is what is, is right around the age when they're in their thirties now. And they're like, okay, yeah, that's the plan B guy. I'm going to take this guy. He's going to help allow me to build myself up. And then once I've built myself up, I can then transition into the next stage of my life. And that's really the way that they view things. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to so never miss another video again. And also like the video because it tells YouTube you like my videos, you want to see more of them, and YouTube will recommend more of them. But getting back to what I was saying, what we have happening here is that these women are extremely furious. They're, they're upset because they're seeing the guys leaving and they know that these guys are their plan B guys. Or these guys are their plan C guys. These guys are their plan D guys. You know, this is their safety net. Men have always been their safety net and they realize that safety net is no longer going to be there. Okay. Because you have to understand who, you know, what women have an alliance with, with, with Uncle Sam. And, but, but the thing is that Uncle Sam cannot completely hold them down. The, you know, men have always had to supplement their income. Without those, without the safety net, with now that that safety net is leaving, they feel extremely worried. And, but they don't know how to catch bees with honey. So they, so they're using scorn and basically they're, they're, they're coming on TikTok, social media, and they're, they're saying these things. And, of course, the passport bros don't actually care because they're already gone. In, 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 in retrospect, what they're actually doing here is they're not directing this necessarily at the password bros. They're directing it at the orbiters because they want the orbiters to know, don't you ever think about doing what the password bros have done or else, you know, we will, sh we will basically 
do to you what we're now doing to them. And they want them to know this because those guys are the guys that are paying the rent, paying the cell phone bill, buying them food, and helping to supplement their income. And if they lose those guys, well, then it's going to be extremely difficult for them. And they want to make sure that does not happen. Are you looking for a Christian Filipina partner who shares your faith and values? If so, you should check out Christian Filipina, the most trusted dating site for men and women who want to find love and marriage in the Philippines. Christian Filipina has helped thousands of couples meet and start their journey together. You can join for free and browse through thousands of profiles of beautiful and sincere Filipinas who are ready to connect with you. Click the link below in my description and sign up today using my special affiliate code. You won't regret it. What do you guys think about this? Women are extremely upset. Password bros are finding women overseas for dating and marriage. You know what I think? I want to hear what you think. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember, they're all roads. Lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.